This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Poundcast today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Poundcast. This show is also brought to you by LVJCo.com. That's where you can get Louisville vegan jerky. Let me just let me just uh, log in here. Louisville Vegan Foods is actually the company that is brought to you by, um, but the right, website, well, that's their where website, LVJ Co. That's is, where you the, buy Louisville Vegan Jerky, which is their product, and, and that's, boy, their, that's their company. It is, it is good. I don't know what else we can say that we haven't said, but I'll say it again. Look, they have this flavor called Man Man Sweet Chili Teriyaki, and boy, it's really good. And it's, uh, and look, sweet chili garlic kung pao. These are some of the small batch flavors that they're putting out right now but if you use the code word poundcast you can get 20 percent off your entire order at lvjco.com and this stuff is bagged in the united states it's made in louisville it's uh it's plant-based jerky it has a shelf life of nine months and I th- what is this non-gmo are you kidding me wow um <laughs> look buffalo deal <laughs> <laughs> look, they got Buffalo Deal. It's like this. Look, 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 look. Buffalo Deal. Look, it's Buffalo Deal. <laughs> look, D- look, it's Buffalo Deal. It's bu- wait, wait, wait. Look, it's Buffalo Deal. Look, at, look, right here. Buffalo <laughs> Deal. I'm seeing it right here. LVJCo.com. Use the code word Poundcast. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look. Of, look at this. Buffalo wait, look, Deal. Look, look. Wait. Look. Buffalo Deal. Buffalo Deal. <laughs> Guess how much? I'm looking at these numbers here. <laughs> Buffalo Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Deal's good though. Um, look, you can also buy it at the store. Whole Foods, Sprouts, any great supermarket that has quality snacks is going to have Louisville vegan jerky. And <laughs> Buffalo Deal has 35 reviews. <laughs> And it's got four and a half stars. <laughs> LVJCo.com. Use the code for Poundcast. 20% off. And Okay, so today we're doing a... I mean, what else is there to say? Patreon.com. Oh, yeah. Slash this show is Poundcast. really brought... You know what really brings you this show is you. Buffalo Deal. Buffalo Deal. <laughs> what really brings the show to life and sponsors us and gives us life and gives us hope and spirit is patreon.com slash poundcast where everyday supporters like you join up (laughs) and they chip in just a little bit to keep the show rolling and when you do that you get unzipped what's unzipped it's a bonus episode every day at buffalo dale (laughs) (laughs) unzipped is a bonus episode that you'll get like if you just tune in in for the regular old poundcast (laughs) <laughs> You're just going to get this free Poundcast Buffalo Dale. Well, think of it like this. You think of it like, <laughs> it's like a bag of duff Buffalo Dale. It's like a bag of Buffalo Dale. You know, you pour out some of the pieces. That's that's the main part that's of the That's the free episode. stuff. That there's you actually get. some more pieces of Buffalo Dale in the bag. And the best, the sweetest pieces are at the bottom that unzip you don't the get. Bag. And that's unzipped. If you want to unzip the bag all the way, you can get the best pieces yeah. d- deep down in there. You bonus content. Finish the whole bag of the Buffalo Deal. Yeah, bonus content is called Unzipped. At the end of every episode, we re- keep we keep recording when we're warmed up. And you know, and this, that's the good stuff. And on this episode, uh, we uh, we at first we were talking to random people that we didn't really know for the most part in the main episode, and then we started talking to people we do know in the uh, in the Unzipped. Yeah. So here's what's going on today. We talked to people. I said on Instagram, I said, hey, give me your number. We'll call you. And I got hundreds of numbers because each number has seven digits. And if you add it up, it's hundreds. <laughs> no, tons of people. I called just a fraction of the people. And we call, we talked to people from all around the country. So let's get into it. I think well, you're going to enjoy this. Yeah. I mean, just real quick, though. Patreon.com. <laughs> Whenever I try to wrap it up, you go, oh, what is that one more thing? Well, Patreon.com slash Poundcast is where you get the Patreon. But then also, if you want to watch the show, YouTube.com true, slash true, The Poundcast. True. 
And uh, we're on. We got a little Instagram account and uh, at the Poundcast and on Twitter. TikTok, the yeah. Poundcast and Twitter, and Twitter. And um, we will be in Nevada City tonight. If you're li- listening to this on the regular episode, and if you're listening to it on Patreon, which by the way, Patreon members get the episodes early. Yeah, get early they get, access. They get they get on Wednesday. And imagine getting this on a Wednesday. And they're ad free, kind of. There's they're very. They're kind of ad free. They're ad, ad free. reduced. Ad reduced. <laughs> ad reduced, big time. <laughs> and um, we're going to be in Nevada City doing a live poundcast, and we hope to see you there. So if you are in the area, it's a free show, and our guest will be Beth Stelling. Okay? Um, and she's look- a Beth Stelling off- author. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she's ever made that joke. She must have. Let's try right? that. We're going to try that. We'll try that. We're going to try, try that, that one hey, out. Hey, see how that, that goes we'll over that. with... Beth She's probably going to just walk away like, I can't believe you said the most hacky thing that's ever been said to me. Well, we'll f- see if that happens. Find out. And you know what? Either way, it's going to be interesting. And All right. Well, let's wrap this intro up. Tr- I, true. True. And we should. And we should. <laughs> um, but if you are uh, listening to this on Wednesday, um, if you want, I mean, I think, I think anybody can come to it, but there's a, a free show at Iowa State University, which is in Ames, Iowa, on Thursday tomorrow you know i'm doing it and oh, it's at okay. 8 p.m i see it's at the I student ames. union there just, ames. just look it up yeah ames that's where people have scopes <laughs> yeah i won't make any more jokes about that <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah well anyway that's, that's about it yeah a lot of targets and ames <laughs> That's our target headquarters. That high target, target headquarters, right? The bullseye. <laughs> okay, is that all? Is that all for the, uh, the business part of the the intro? Stuff? One last thing, we've one got a remi- thing, we got a remix here that I oh, got to do. talk about. Okay, okay, this one's this is a real cool. Um, so this isn't a remix of the main uh, regular theme song. This is a re uh, so not even a remix. It's sort of a produced. It is kind of a remix. Uh, it's a production of. The song, kind of the song we made up, and it's, but, or parts of it at least, that we made up on an episode, kind of. Anyway, this is from Weird Artifacts, um, otherwise known as Jason Odd, and his band is Weird Artifacts, so check out Weird Artifacts. And um, it's called Duck, Duck, Goose. Oh, no, 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 sorry. It's called Goose, Goose, Duck. Mm -hmm. And... That's he, that must have been that song we wrote just a couple episodes ago. Yeah, but it's it's cool. He put it together in a really cool way, so I'm excited to share it with everybody. Well, I can't wait to listen. Let's roll the clip. Let's roll the clip. Roll the clip. Goose Goose Duck. What's Goose Goose Duck? Goose Goose Duck. It's like Duck Duck Goose, but it's Goose Goose Duck. Goose Goose Duck. What's Goose Goose Duck? Goose Goose Duck. It's like duck, duck, goose, but it's goose, now goose, look, duck. Now look, check one, two. This is four, five, six. Okay. Sexual. Mm. That's incredible. Electricity. Yeah. yeah. Someone ever break your heart? Yeah. Really? Like a goose, goose, duck. Because goose, goose, duck. Rectal. Not on wood, but you don't need love. Yeah, like a bad news bear and a goose, goose, duck. Goose, goose, duck. What's goose, goose, duck? It's like duck, duck, goose, but it's goose, goose, duck. Yeah. Goose, goose, duck. That's how the beat goes in it. What's goose, goose, duck? That's the hook. Goose, goose, duck. It's like duck, duck, goose, but it's goose, goose, duck. They can speak Cantonese. This is one, two, three. It's not possible. Uh, welcome to the Poundcast. Hi. 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 <laughs> Uh, today we're doing a uh, we're doing a party line like we used to do back in the day, and uh, people sent me their phone numbers, and um, I I posted on uh, Instagram send me your phone number if you want us to call you, and I got straight up like a hundred, I don't know how many, a lot, more than we can ever get to. Jeez. So if you send me your number. Apologies if we didn't call you. I'm just going to hit some random things here. Gee whiz, you, Doug, you're so popular. I mean, you know, people sometimes brag about how many phone numbers they can get. Well, you, you got a bunch today. We're popular. It's not me. It's, it's, it's the Poundcast. Well. Now, check this out. I think it's Jack Birch. Me, please. My name is George Michael for real. <laughs> we should call George Michael, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Let's see what happens here. I hope there's not a. I hope there's not a lot of uh, pranks. What if he does answer the phone? Wait a says, second. Hi, it's me, George Michael. Yeah, I'm actually alive, and um, well, I'm actually getting doing a Wham reunion this Saturday. <laughs> Um, we're doing it at the forum. Uh, everybody's invited, and um, we're going to have an absolute just blast doing it. Now, here's a number from back in my early days. This is called Father Figure. It goes now, into something uh, like this. I, no. I tried to do Google Voice. It's just not working. Oh. Sorry, folks. Isn't George Michael dead? Well, that was the joke I was making, that he was back, that he wasn't alive. Maybe he's like, I've faked my death. I faked you all. It's me, George Michael. I faked you all, didn't I? April Fool's, I'm alive. Because <laughs> April Fool's is coming up this weekend. Although when you are all listening to this, it will be past April Fool's, wouldn't it? Sorry for the dead air here. I'm trying to fill it. I'm trying to fill it with all I can. I've, I uh, Look, here, what else can I tell you? I can tell you this. I got to say I like the song Father Figure, if I'm being honest. Okay? It's a good song, but, you know, I never realized that. Well, not that I didn't realize. I always wondered, is he... It's a kind of a weird song. I mean, it's about... He wants to be a father figure to somebody. I mean, that's kind of an interesting kind of take. You know what I mean? It because the song kind of seems like a love song at first or something, but and maybe it is a love song, but more family kind of love, I guess. Uh, kind of weird, huh? So that's a good one. But uh, all that she wants—that's is that what it's called? Oh, here we go. We got a we got a phone. All call. that she wants is um, isn't that like? All that she wants is another baby. <laughs> That's is that Ace of Base? Yep. Got to be Ace of Base. No, but there's another song that he does. Everything she wants is that what it's called? Everything she wants. I like that. I like that. I like that kind of bass line. It kind of sounds like your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice Let's message. Leave a system. message. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Uh, 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 okay, whatever. I was trying to talk over it so that yeah, people. I, 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 I. All right. Um, well, maybe people won't pick up. Let me just say this: that that bass line to that Wham song, um, "Everything She Wants," it sounds like Shinobi. Well, probably Shinobi sounds like... It's exciting like, just hearing the ringtone, like, you right. know, like, oh, is it... Who's going to pick up? Ooh, are they going to pick up? Sh- Shinobi sounds like it, actually, probably. What if we were calling Shinobi? You probably know Shinobi. Your call has been forwarded to... Oh, another... Okay, strike two. Another... Oh, this isn't working. Um... Well, we could also try calling Wonder Boy. Well, here's Orion. Oh, yeah, Orion. Okay, yeah. Let's uh, think. Um, I want to say we're going to be calling Orion in Providence, Rhode Island, perhaps. Maybe. From, from yes, Ryan. Orion did the artwork for one of my... For my single. Well, that's not awfully loud. That's loud. That one got louder. That's awfully loud. Yeah, it's a lo- that's a thick ring. Hello? Orion? Hey, hey, Doug. Hi, you're welcome to the Poundcast. It's oh, not, it's oh, not, and it's hi. not, ju- it's not just Doug. It's Brent also. Oh, hi, Doug and Brent. Hi. <laughs> Providence, Rhode Island, right? I'm in Providence, Rhode Island. That's right. That's what I thought. <laughs> Do you know that song "Providence" by Sonic Youth? I don't remember that one. I used to listen to them a lot. Do you know it? <laughs> it's not really a song. It's just sort of like a moody kind of interlude. So what's happening in yeah. Providence today? I have two shows in New York this weekend, so I'm just making sure I have everything I need on my NPC. And on your NPC? my clothes packed. Did you say on your NPC, your non-player, non-playable character? <laughs> M, M, M as in mother. The uh, mother of it's, PCs. It's the, uh, the Akai MPC, right? Yeah, an Akai MPC X. And that's how you play your music? I play some backing beats on it, and then I um, I play guitar, and then I'll have like some sense going through it. I'm using the guitar to control, yeah. You Do you like playing guitar? 
Do I like playing it? Yeah. Nah. I like it. playing. <laughs> well, no. I like playing my guitar. Well, I, yeah, just okay. because it, you look more. Um, no, that's like, like the people. People can see what you're doing. It's good for being on stage. The, okay. Yeah. So you can see people. You can see your finger work. I guess I wondered if, you know, if people like playing guitar or if it just looks cool and that's why play people play it or both. I guess, but <laughs> it's. Yeah, it's not the most comfortable thing to play. I'd rather, I know what you mean. I, I would prefer to just play like normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because like only, at home, only, but it is better good for show. Only like one hand is doing the the, key, the fingerboard fing part, right? The fingering. Well, the yeah. fingering. But mm -hmm. no, what is the left hand? If you're, say, you're right handed, what is the left hand doing on the neck? Is it doing anything on the neck? Yeah, well, for me and maybe I guess other people too, there's, there's usually a mod wheel that mm -hmm. you can. You could assign to any parameter you want, but for me, it's like on, on pitch. So I'll just kind of like wave the pitch with it. And there's some buttons on mine for like sustain and vibrato mm -hmm. that I'll play with while like I'm playing. But it's, it's you know, I'm playing, but it's mostly for show. <laughs> it's more about the singing. Cool. Well, where's your shows at? Plug them real quick while, you, while we got you here. Yeah, sure. Uh, March 31st the, the, with Rare DM and Gloom at Chelsea Music Hall. And Saturday with June at Public Records. Okay, April well, 1st. yeah, I guess I'm I sure, guess this will come out after. Never mind. I'm also sure Oh, yeah, that, they're really... Oh, that's right. I wasn't hey, even thinking about that. You know that. what? Let's just talk about <laughs> well, I'm what great... April 28th in Providence. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Well, let's just talk about what great shows those were in New York. Oh, they were so amazing. Everyone yeah. looks so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, thanks for coming out, everybody. Well, you know, it's it is good <laughs> it is good to picture what the shows are gonna be like and have a positive um like if you're nervous about an event or something, you, you imagine it and manifest going great. It. You, you manifest manifest, manifest that great show. Both Oh of them. sure. I mean linear time is bullshit, so I'm I'm there. Well all <laughs> it there... happens. All there is is now. Yeah, all you have to do is, yeah, is... That's uh, right. That's right, yeah, okay. Um, time do you time have any is... questions for us? Because I'm going to call George Michael back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I don't. I hadn't thought of anything. You, you can call George Michael back, whatever that means. <laughs> I kind of have... Uh, okay, well... I, ha I, I, I do have talking. a question for Oh, Ryan, you do, but okay. Uh, uh, sorry, I just... Well, no, nah, it's too deep of a question, I think, for right now. Brent has oh, a deep question. Well, Brent, you have to say it now if you're going to... Yeah, I have so to know bring now. It up, now we have okay, to know. fine. I've just this. I've noticed this about Orion, and I hope I don't not putting you on the spot too hard with this question. I don't mind. But I've noticed that you've um, kind of taking taken a pretty big step in uh, a sort of style change in a way. Would you say that's true? Do you know my you know my music from before? Well, I'm saying the your sort of vis your presentation. Your oh, visually. visually oh, sorry. I had three albums out like under an older, I mean, my name, but a different project. I thought, oh, yeah, sure. I don't know. I started getting tattooed a lot last year. What? what okay, I, here's my question is, you didn't have any, did you <laughs> not have any tattoos before that? And my question Almost, is... Almost. Pretty much no. I had a tiny one on the back of my neck. <laughs> okay, what led to the decision, I'm going to start going with more of a tattooed look and how did that happen and why <laughs> i started dating a tattoo artist that's the main would be the biggest answer to that oh, <laughs> easy answer and he or she said i uh hey listen i can give you a free tattoo if you want and you said oh no no not like that but just i i just got really interested in tattoo culture and he he's so passionate about it and he's you know just became a really good friend of mine more so than any romantic thing. And I just got really into tattoo culture and appreciating traditional tattoos. Okay. I just think I, I started getting them and just started feeling better about myself. Really? You feel in what yeah. way? You feel uh, confident, more confident or just uh, what? Yeah, that's, that's part of it. Like, I think I just used to feel, I mean, maybe it was a little deep, but I used to feel really self-conscious about my arms and like how my skin looked. Mm. And I, just when I started doing that, I just felt like I had kind of come to peace with that. But then it just made me feel like um, more confident and like just in the other direction. That's interesting. And so, OK, well, it's been a positive change then and you feel good about it and you don't have any regrets or anything like that. No, not at all. I'm, I mean, I'm really I'm really glad that I waited this. I mean, I'm, I'm 39 years old, so I'm glad I waited this long to do it. And mm -hmm. I love all of them. And I think the last 
a long time and you know they're kind of like timeless or traditional cool in well, a way, in i have a another question way. sure would you rather date someone named jim or ryan or ryan <laughs> Jim or Ryan? Or Ryan. Or Ryan. This is a dumb pun on your name. Or, oh, or, like my or, name. No. Oh, Jim. <laughs> Jim, no, not not Ryan. Ian, as in Ian Ziering, you know, from Beverly Hills, Ian. Nattino, or Ian. Uh, or Ian. Ian. Or Ian. <laughs> <laughs> I get so annoyed when there's like a Ryan or a Brian around. I think people are saying my name all the time. Yeah, I think so. that I, I don't get too annoyed about it, but I people, I when I hear the, the name Grant, I think they're talking about me. Oh, yes. Grant. <laughs> yeah, I hate when people are talking about drugs, and I'm like, huh? I'm like, oh, no, I thought you said my name. <laughs> they're all saying no. They're, to, like, they're, they're saying like, no to drugs, and they're like, thinking, oh, do you don't want to come down this alley? I'm like, no. Say I thought, yes to drugs. I, you don't know how many alleys I've walked down when I hear drugs, drug. I got a cam- I got a campaign. And it's a drug dealer, and I'm like, ah, oh, I thought you were talking. It's a dangerous habit. Don't just uh, say no to drugs. Say yes to dugs, or don't do drugs. <laughs> do dr- do dugs. <laughs> that's a that's a good slogan for you. I mean, yeah, you'll, don't you'll, do drugs, do drugs. How about lot. say yo to Dugs? <laughs> <laughs> yo, just say yo to du- just say yo to Dugs. <laughs> just say yo to Dugs is great. Dare to keep kids off Dugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of weird. Well, you want to keep get, you keep kids off Dugs, but you want to get adults on Dugs. Now we're talking. You want to get adults sitting on Dugs. Get adults sitting on dugs. It's really catchy. Dare to get dare to keep adults on dugs. <laughs> all right, all right. We're gonna keep the show moving, but uh, thanks for all picking. Right, nice you know what? Thanks for you. picking up. Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. Have a great show. Ha- have two great shows. Three. Make it three. <laughs> all right. You make, so it tri- make it a trip. Make, make it a trip. Make it a triple. triple. Uh, okay, we're April gonna call 20th. George Michael now. April twenty eighth. Okay. Everybody. Okay. Peace out. From one musician to the next. He DM'd me right back. Call me back. I missed it. We're going from one musician to the next. Orion to George Michael. He better be a musician with a name like George Michael. I mean, it's a, you know, a common name. George Michael. Is this DJ Dunkhound? And Brent Weinbach. Oh, my God. The dynamic duo. (laughs) Where are you uh, located, George? I'm in Nashville for the next two days, and then I'm moving to Seattle. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, how long have you planned this move? Uh, it's been in the works for about two months. And are you trying to be a grunge person or something? Yeah. Or what, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm trying to tap into my inner um, Kurt Cobain. Are you starting to wear flannels and stuff around your waist or whatever? Yeah, flannels are on the way. maybe an old uh, cardigan with a high school band logo on it or something. Yeah. Why? Why? Why are you moving? Um. So actually, my sister is got hired by Pokemon, so I'm kind of just following her out there. <laughs> what? Are you gonna go with her? In, are you gonna be in her I, pocket? <laughs> yeah, she's she's How, caught me. What is she gonna do for Pokemon? A uh, video producer. What is Pokemon? I don't even know what, what it is. Is it, catchy. is it a cartoon, cartoon or is it it's a, a car, game? It's or, a cartoon. Is it a cartoon or a game bit, or like, what is it? I think it's a bit of both. I don't know. I, I miss that boat too. I think I'm too old to really know what it is, but it's uh, it involves Pikachu and Squirtle and Charizard. That's all I know. Did you say Squirtle? Squirtle, yeah. He's a Pokemon. Or she, he or she. Oh, Squirtle. Okay, that sounds like something a, a clown. That sounds like some clown juice type thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like the name of a clown artist. You know, Squirtle. <laughs> um, well, do you do you have any uh, questions for us? Um, you I don't have any questions, but I do. Douglas, you and I met at Sundance in 2020. We shared a house together for one night. So. Oh, I was that I, when uh, the, bor- the borscht people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, but I'm a huge, huge fan of y'all. I'm like every, everything that you guys touch is just beautiful. And I don't have any questions per se, but I'm so grateful to talk to you. Do you talk? Do you you know talk about George Michael the musician a lot in your life? Do people bring I, that up all the time or what? It's either that or Arrested Development. That, that's that's the two references I usually get. Is your last name Michael? No, it's Parker. That'd be cool if it was Jackson, George Michael Jackson. 
Wait a second here. So your I name is say, your middle name's Michael? Actually, on my birth certificate, I don't have a middle name. It's but George Michael. First. first name is George Michael. What? That's interesting that your first name is George Michael. What if my first I name know. was Robert De Niro? <laughs> <laughs> That's my first name. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, Robert De Niro, Weinbach. Robert De Niro, it's like a Robert De Niro. <laughs> Robert De Niro, Weinbach. <laughs> or whatever. That'd be a great name to have. Change it to that, and you can get all kinds of reservations, like at the top restaurants, no problem. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's my favorite thing to do, is go to the top restaurants. It sounds like Robert De Niro got married to somebody and hyphenated the name or something like that. Yeah, yeah Robert De Niro hyphen Weinbach. Yeah, or whoever, Lessenhop, whatever. Um, um, are you guys, who's got a, sh do you guys have any shows in Seattle anytime soon? Nothing to announce, but we are working on a Northwest. We're working something. on some kind of tour yeah. later this year. It'll see. probably be in the fall. Take this moment to say that Pound House is one of the most beautiful pieces of art I've ever seen in my life. And I appreciate y'all making it. Thanks, George Michael. Well, we're going to. That's going to be coming out. You know, we could summer. we could use that as a quote. It could say, you know, Pound House is one of the most beautiful pieces of art I've ever seen. George Michael. <laughs> we got that. And then yeah. in parentheses, Parker. <laughs> no, don't even need to. Just you know, say George we Michael. don't need to. All yeah, right, thanks, George yeah. Michael. All right, thanks, George Michael. We're going to keep calling. We have a lot of calls to get okay. through. Love you guys. We we just want to be friends, but thank you. <laughs> yes. <love> you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Not me. Uh, no, my friend said, um, I love you guys. And then my other friend said, I just want to be friends. <laughs> I always say that now. Uh, where's Aaron? Let's see what should we call this? These are just random people that are hmm. popping up here. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's see if he answers. My dad called while we were. Oh. Should I call him? Could be. I wonder if. Yeah. can call my dad back see what he wants sure, we can find out he might he probably wants tech support hello aaron <laughs> yes where's aaron san francisco right here san francisco this is the poundcast uh where where are you uh where are you located now the poundcast yeah dj doug pound in the poundcast bro dj doug pound <laughs> <laughs> you gave me your number what do you expect maybe somebody else gave it Dog, I thought I, I didn't even think it was Wednesday, bro. I thought it was Tuesday. Dude, why do you think it's Tuesday, man? <laughs> You're living in the past. Oh, uh, man. Because I uh, am trying to quit smoking weed, and this is my first day off the stuff <laughs> and uh, off the devil's lettuce, and I am entirely confused. Wow. So it, you got confused when you're not on it. Well, he's yeah, bro, recalibrating. Man. He's in the m middle of recalibrating, you know, the system. Sounds like you got some of that residual nugs flowing through the system, bro. Exactly, dude. How are you doing? Dude, you sound like you just blazed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you sound like you're blazed for life, man. <laughs> I know. I'm working off the perma stone. Are you perma fried? I used to smoke the ganja I'm pipe, and now I'm blazed for life. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys at? Dude, we're in Burbank. We're in bro. Burbank. We're Burbank. We're blazing dude. in Burbank, dude. You guys blaze? <laughs> you guys are you guys potheads? Dude. Well no, by blazing in Burbank he means we go to we go to that pizza place blaze, you know. Blaze. Get, I get the red vine. You know what? Blaze ain't bad. Oh we love red red the kinda, red vine. It's kinda like this the subway of pizza. Yeah, Blaze but you, is pretty good. But it's it's actually better than the other make your own pizza places. So let me get this straight, Aaron. You're in SF or the Bayer? No, I'm in Los Angeles. I'm over in Venice. Oh, oh nice. Oh, no well, wonder, it's gonna be, yo, dude, you picked no the wonder. wrong you picked the wrong town to quit smoking weed at, dude. <laughs> I know, I know. We'll Are you blading on the boardwalk or what? Blading and blazing, yeah, that's all he does. Know, every every day I walk my husky and I usually burn one and have a great time. I got a but, uh, question. Your, your boy's having a little tummy trouble, so I, I figured I'd, I'd give it a break for a little bit. Oh, that's the reason you stopped smoking marijuana is because of the tummy? 
Yeah, actually. Wh- oh, what's going on with the tummy? Who are you feeling just uh, poop? Got the uh, munchies, dude. <laughs> no, I, well, actually, that that might be part of the problem. I have a I have a hiatal hernia, and uh, it's like when your stomach goes up a little bit into your esophagus, and uh, I actually think one of the reasons I have it is because I have a really nasty habit of just getting high at night, gorging myself, <laughs> just eating way too much food, and then, uh. and then going to sleep and going to sleep with a full stomach. What's your go-to munchie, late-night munchie, bruh? Oh, man. You know. Uh, going down there to Kinney, is... Abbott Kinney, and you're going to hit that pizza place with the bagel crust? No, but that's on my list of things to do, actually. How long have you lived in Venice? Uh, just, uh, like, almost six months. Huh. I would love to live in Venice, actually. That would be fun. It's super fun. I, I've been enjoying the shit out of it. There's occasionally, the only thing that sucks is like occasionally there's like a crazy hobo that tries to stab you or like, you know, like tweaks on you a little bit. Like literally this morning I was walking my dog and I, this guy, I guess I was a little too close to him. And he did like a, like a fake, like a fake out. You know what I mean? Like he like twitched really quickly in my peripherals as if he, like he was trying to, trying to spook me. Like he was coming at you. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, maybe I was a little too close to him, you know? Now, d- so this uh, suspension of marijuana is not a permanent thing for you. This is just, you just want to get God, it. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I love, I love marijuana, dude. I just like, <laughs> I mean, I like it. yeah, your voice sounds like that, you know? <laughs> and your laugh, too. <laughs> Yeah, You're, I don't know. I your don't voice know. and laugh sounds like you that you are made for it, you know. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. It's like a chicken or the egg argument. I don't know. I feel like I'm right. I, I think I've always had a crazy laugh, but I'm not 100 percent sure. You know? it, it's kind of a funny idea that somebody talked a certain way and laughed a certain way, and that made them smoke marijuana. You know that they <laughs> thought, I gotta smoke marijuana for this voice. You know, if I'm gonna totally. be like, if I'm acting like, th- if I'm talking like, then laughing like this, I gotta be smoking pipe. I gotta be smoking. <laughs> I I think I think you guys might be onto something. You know, uh, the first person actually I ever blazed with was ZZ. <laughs> was who? He said it was it was ZZ. My buddy. Yeah, Zane Zachariah. Dude, I did not know his name. That was his Wait, name. Wait, do I yeah, know you? Um, I don't know. I know Doug. <laughs> Wait, I know you. Okay, I. Of course, I know. Cause, all right. No, uh, Doug, oh, Doug, Doug. Dude, we went I, out totally together, know, uh, I totally know. I totally know you. We went, we, we went out together after ZZ's wedding. Yes, of course. I totally know who this is. I was calling. <laughs> I mean, look, when I put out the number. It was a bunch of. I thought I was calling strangers, but I do know some of these people. I do, and I do no, know you. You skating out there? You've been skating? Uh, taking a little break from the from the skateboard. Right. That's too much association with the marijuana. You got to keep that stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, fucking. Just I'm, I'm. I just turned thirty recently. I'm trying to get on top of all my health shit, and stomach stuff, and just like chronic injuries from skateboarding. So I'm uh, taking a little break, doing some like physical therapy and yoga and all that good stuff. All right, man. Well, good for you. Yeah. Good Yo, for so you. Are you guys are, are you guys doing a podcast right now? Yeah, we're you're on you're on the podcast right now. Oh shit! Where do I find it? Um, Patreon.com/slash um, Poundcast. Poundcast. The only way to hear it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, just go to your podcast app and look up Poundcast. It, yeah. Next okay. next week next Friday next, next, next you'll hear it next, next Friday week. next Friday you'll hear it next week. Uh, well, thanks, Aaron. Be famous, bro. Aaron, <laughs> have a great day. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to some new people now. But all right, thanks. Thanks boys. for picking up my 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 king. Of course. Keep Peace. grinding. Peace. Uh, let's see. Chelly Dro Serpentino. <laughs> This person says, I'll be ready this time. I don't know. She's ready. She's ready. Remember that? What is that? It's from our, our Poundhouse episode. Oh, yeah. She's ready. <laughs> Not the new one, but I know. It's, uh, she's ready. She's ready. <laughs> I think. 
Brett and I have been writing. We got the first episode scripted out. I can't wait. No, yellow. Yellow. Is this Churdling Go? Something like that. Close enough. Shelly Drill. How are you? How are you all doing? What's up, bro? Where are you at? What's up? What's up? Uh, Third Coast USA, I thank you. You're at the what? How about you all? Third Coast USA on that golf crest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're on that golf's crest, bro. What state? Got to be Florida. <laughs> the only state there ever is, or ever was, or ever will be. <laughs> dude, you know are you blazing, about? dude? <laughs> All these pound heads are blazing today, man. I don't know, and I never will. <laughs> <laughs> When you first picked up, I was hearing some kind of noise like this. like. I just finished the last episode of The Consultants with your boy, Christoph. Have you all seen it? Waltz? Christoph Waltz? That, yeah, he, yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> Is it good? Uh, I watched the whole thing. I, I can't stand a shitty show, so I watched the whole thing, though. Yeah. Who does he and they, like? they set up... Spoiler alert! Who does who said that? me? You have I'm a voice that reminded me. Just keep talking. I'll think. It sounds it. like something. We've talked before once. You called me and I didn't pick up once. And then I was like, "Holy shit! I think this is the Doug Pound's number." And I called you one day randomly and you picked up. And um, and I asked you about why the Bone Zone was uh, no longer in the zone. You know what I mean? And um. I think we were all hurt by that. You know, but wait, what I mean to say is, yeah. Well, we're still well, suffering from that massive loss, but luckily we got the world well, well, record well. podcast now. So, yeah, I'm still meeting boneheads. I just met a few the other day. I was, it warmed my heart. Dude, that's cool. Well, what do you do in the in that third coast, bro? Um, nothing. Anything it's fun though? What, what do you do for Actually, fun? Actually, for fun, um. I train, and I, uh, I watch comedy, and I go outside and look at animals. What do you train? And uh, plants. What do you train for? Commercial arts or? I'm training for a, a board sport endeavor. Um, it's an annual thing I, I've been doing lately. That's it's near and dear to me, you know. And I I sh- I shred. I shred if, if you catch my snow drift. You live on the Gulf Coast and you shred. Well, not on the Gulf Coast. No, I have to go a little more inland for that. Get a little, go into those high and mighties, you know what I'm saying? Those purple majesties. Got to get up in those purple majesties, dude. <laughs> when when that guy is talking about, oh, say, can you see, is he... I mean, isn't he in, like, New England? What are these purple majesties he's talking about? You he must have heard about him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shelly. He's, like, he's, he's, he's like, like, I can't see him. Can you see him? Like, it's like a, there's like, maybe there's like, they're playing telephone, you know? Because they, back then, they didn't have actual telephones, so they had to pretend. Well, they had the cans, you know? So they, they played the game telephone. They came up with the game before the phone, actually. <laughs> well, that, that's what they named the phone. They named the phone after the game. <laughs> that's that's correct. <laughs> and, yeah, that's <is> correct. <laughs> I've en- I've enjoyed y'all. If you guys were uh, trying to get away from me earlier, so I'll let you go. But thank you for calling, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. It's great to be working with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be working with you again. All right. Uh, thanks for uh, picking up. We'll. We'll catch up Hell next yeah. time. Peace out. Later. Later. <laughs> These people are chill. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to hear like the voice and the vibe of like people that listen to this show, you know. Hey, you know what though? This show is sponsored by Better Help. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. A therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. 
BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. In fact, I've recently learned some things about myself from my BetterHelp therapist. Well, is that right? Well, do you mind sharing? Sure. Well, (laughs) I need to work on uh, setting boundaries, and I'm a bit of a people pleaser. So I'm learning how to be more assertive and say no when I need to, Brent. Well, that's great, Doug. Um, That's really great. And if you're thinking about uh, starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, uh, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash PoundCast today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash PoundCast. Um, I'm, purple trying to find, I'm trying to find a... Um, purple Majesties. What are Purple Majesties? Mostly it's 99% dudes, but I'm just trying to find a, a gal. This might be a gal, but I'm not sure. I don't even hear a ring. Do you think that we have a lot of male listeners because well oh we talk about guy stuff because we're real men yeah because we're real men because we're real men hello you six five okay well that was a a, a, something yeah i guess i don't know know. you never know know. it could be anything i mean i don't know yeah i don't know (laughs) um george michael said we just made his day oh wow oh well satan gave me his number i hear something called phoebe Let's try this. Young Satan is who, uh, he takes the showers. Huh? He takes the showers, young Satan. You know, the shower guy? The male, he's a mailman? Who's a, no. You know. The, oh, the guy that called, oh, he's called young Satan. This is a different Satan. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. I only call him when it's Zoom because I got to get that shower. <laughs> you need that beard. You want to see that beard. <laughs> so okay. that's well cool. okay strike out once in a while you're gonna no strike it's okay out. i like that you know it's you never know what you're gonna get you know life is like a life is like calling people on the podcast you never know what you're gonna get you never know what you're gonna get mama always said you know mama always said life is like you know was mama always said podcast was like calling random people Hello. Danielle? Yeah? Hey, this is uh, DJ Doug Pound and Brent Weinbach from the Poundcast. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. I, I got to <laughs> Are you talking to someone? Hi. I got to take Are you this. in the bathroom? No, Where are I you? Was on a nurse, I was on a nursing staff meeting on Zoom. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do, is this not a good time? Oh no! This is this is a fantastic time. A nursing staff meeting. Yeah, yeah. What kind of stuff are you talking about on the meeting? Oh, um, safe staffing. <laughs> I don't know if like I I could really go into that, but I I mean I shouldn't have even brought. Crazy. <laughs> are you um, a nurse or just a staffer? Oh, I'm I'm a, a pediatric ICU nurse. Uh huh. Oh, that sounds intense. <laughs> I know. I, I, I mean, it is intensive it care unit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what part of the world are um, you in? I'm in uh, the northeast region of Connecticut. The United States. Connecticut. <laughs> the northeast region of <laughs> Idaho. <laughs> the, the north region. It's like that weird little corner where it's up that up that little yeah. dip. There's a, the north. Yeah, I'm in the northeast the region bit. of New Mexico. <laughs> 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 or, or, or Hawaii or something. Like <laughs> I'm in the North region. Uh, I'm on Hawaii. the East Coast. Oh, uh, Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the East Coast of Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have any questions for us, or what's going on with you today? <laughs> um, Did you blaze? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you have any questions for me? You hitting that laughing gas? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You hitting that laughing gas? Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Uh, 
<laughs> being on the propofol. <laughs> so you probably get a discount on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big, <laughs> big discount. Um, all right, questions. Um, oh, fuck. Just about anything. Did you, yeah. Do you have any? Have you seen any good bugs lately? Well, this you know this California slender salamander, of course. Uh, I do there sometimes when I do. Um, I've been uh, the rain has damaged this little hut that has my laundry in it, and I've been fixing the roof on it, and I put this uh, the sealer on top of the new wood, and it attracts these really uh, beautiful flies that only come. That I would never, that I never see until I use this certain kind of paint. They just show up. They're huh. like these, these beautiful looking, weird, like round, fat flies. But they're kind of like gold. They're like colorful. Have you figured out the name of them yet? I think I looked it up, and I, I can't think of it on my off the top of my head. But yeah, that's about, that's about all like. All right, so that's, that's what I saw fun. yesterday. What about you? Have you, okay. do you? Do you look for them or do you stay away? I'm I'm a, I'm like uh, I, uh, in the northeast region of the United States. I sleep I sleep a lot, so <laughs> I kind of rely on you for the, my bug updates. Oh, and what's you, going on out you there. Li- you live in some sleepy New England town. Yeah. Oh, so you <laughs> you sleep a lot, so you're 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 into the bed bugs and stuff like so. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, I had a big bad big bad bed bug case not so long ago. Um, Are you serious? But you yeah, did. Yeah, I, uh, I moved in with um, my I, I moved in with one of my ex husbands. <laughs> wait, what? And <laughs> uh, wait, when he was your wait before he was your ex husband or like? You... Oh, like when when he was right before he oh uh, before he was my husband. Okay, gotcha. We moved in, so. Um, he brought the bugs. Yeah. No, I didn't bring the bugs. His roommate got his roommate decided to get a mattress from the side of the road. Oh wait 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 wait! So did you move in with your husband and his roommate? So he wasn't your. Or was the, his roommate your other yeah, ex-husband? Because <laughs> you said two. You said one of your ex-husbands. Well, okay, maybe you got a two-for-one deal. I like how you just call the other ex-husband your his roommate. Right. Yeah. Well, at the time she was his. He was soon to be the the ex-husband. He was next yeah, in line. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was. I. I well, I was the next. I was the next in. Uh, now that now that gay marriage and all, I. Uh, <laughs> I was the first. Second, second. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the, okay, his roommate. So you moved in with your then husband or soon to be husband at the time? Yes. Yeah. And he, the roommate, had bed bugs. Yes. And from a mattress and on the side of the road. A side of the road mattress? Yeah. I, it, <laughs> Rookie mistake. <laughs> rookie, rookie, rookie mistake. Wow. And um, we all got bed bugs. And, uh, what ha- what did you do? Did you get rid of everything, or did were you able to keep everything and just boil everything out? We we boiled we boiled it out. We got an exterminator, and then everything that we did, we like we to get it clean, we put it in the basement, and then the basement flooded. Oh no! And you then... gotta get out of that northeast. Sounds like a bad scene. <laughs> so everything. Flooded. I don't know. L.A. doesn't look too good either. What got ruined? True. What was that? What got ruined? What got ruined? <laughs> <laughs> what got ruined all of it everything was there you still there well, daniel oh oh left us on well, that cliffhanger man i wanted to find out what got ruined i could call her back or just move on what no we're not done with her yet you want me to call her back we still got another whole another ex-husband to get through <laughs> okay Let's see what happened. All has been forwarded to an automated oh. voice message. Well, maybe she doesn't know we're trying to call and she's talking and talking. You know, you ever do that? Uh, or she <laughs> and might then be, like, hello, did you? She might be trying to call back to you at the same time. Voice messaging system. Uh, well. Oh, well. Well, my thing's on a hidden number, right? Didn't I hit that? I think I hit that. Are you on the Google voice? I think I hit that privacy thing. Oh, if you're on privacy, if you got your privacy. I got my privacy. If you have your privacy. Please respect my privacy. <laughs> Let's call. Here's another. <laughs> I mean, gender is a construct, construct. But this could be. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> this is a wild card. You know, these are all wild. These are going into my message requests. These are people I've never interacted with ever. 
Oh. So. That's something new. That's something new, right? something there. different. Well, so was. Zero, three, oh, come nine. On now. Quit, quit. You don't have to tell me that. No, I know, I know. I, know. I just, I'm just, you it's, know, it's I get, like, I get you don't scared. To, you know, I get don't scared. be scared. I you get know, scared. Relax, I, I'm a I pro. I get scared. I'm a pro. Um, um, right. I just hope that nothing too valuable didn't get ruined in the flood. Well, you know what? She had a great... Um, Laugh? Well, attitude about everything. Oh. You know, she was just laughing her way through it. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. Gosh, oh God, I just can't imagine. I, bed bugs seems such like such a tough thing to deal with. You know, bed bugs got to be bad. <laughs> Is they should be? They shouldn't call them bed bugs. They should call them bad bugs. Maybe you can like poison your own self, and then when they drink your blood, they die. Well, that's possible. Wouldn't yeah, that be? That's actually that'd be a tweaked idea. way to kill some that's bed an bugs. That's interesting thing. Yeah. It's the Doug's bed bug system. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Hey, this is DJ Doug Pound and Brent Weinbach from the Poundcast. You gave us your number. Oh, my God. Well, we have a... <laughs> do we have a good signal? I, I don't know. I live out in the country. Oh, you're, kind of bre- um, you're breaking up a little bit. I think we can hear you okay now. You live in the country? What country? Let me see... Um, I live in the U.S. Oh, out in the country. I live out in the country. That's what I mean. Which co- what, what country? We talk about Alabama. <laughs> Which I live in Florida, but um, I live out in Micanopy, which is a tiny little town that's near Gainesville, Florida. Oh, that's where Tom Petty's from. It is. And it's named after Chris Gaines. <laughs> yes, thank God. We do kind Love of have young. we kind of have kind of a bad connection, but what what goes on out there in uh, in Okin o- Do you roam ro- roam the fields? <laughs> do you roam the fields? We, my boyfriend has. Hold on one second. My boyfriend. What's going on? Because he's very. My, my, friend, my boyfriend has my, my, a deal. He with works the field. Boyfriend. Montgomery Ward. My boyfriend works at the fields, and he has a deal where I can roam for. He, <laughs> I put my number to to DJ Doug Pound who. Like podcast with Tim Heidecker that I've heard like a show with Tim Heidecker <laughs> and he called me. <laughs> Sorry, my connection. He's going bad. like this. Hang up. Hang up now. <laughs> you hang up with me. <laughs> hurts to Do you roam the fields? We just need to know. <laughs> Do you roam the fields? <laughs> yes, we roam the fields. We really just got done roaming the fields. Oh, cool. What, what kind uh, of cool, boyfriend. what kind of wildlife is out there? Because I love the wildlife in Florida. And what kind of flaxen hair do you possess? Well, we legitimately have like alligators, wild alligators everywhere. Now that's right up my alley. Alligator. <laughs> that's right up my <laughs> alley. Gator. <laughs> our our bowling alley is called Alligators. Okay. Um. So you live out in Gator deep, Country. I am in Gator Country. Gainesville is like is where you is, which are the Florida Gators. So that's cool and annoying. And that's where the Gatorade um, was invented. Yeah. And that's not even a lie. It was, is it? It is. Well, l- and I used to do landscaping true? at the house of the wife of the of Dr. Cade, who who created Gatorade. I did landscaping in her yard. You landscaped at the home no, of the Gatorade inventor. Yes, no joke. Well, it sounds like a small world out there. Well, I, when you worked hard during that day, did they give you some Gatorade <laughs> to cool off with? <laughs> no, no, really? she was really sweet though. We probably brought our own Gatorade, no, no lie. But um, she did have a tiny little stained glass win- like window in her bathroom, and it was just a little old bottle of Gatorade, just stained glass. That was like the only thing that was Gatorade in the house. Huh. She's like, yeah. I'm done with it. I don't need to be reminded <laughs> about Gatorade. <laughs> Please, was, no more. What have I done to this planet? <laughs> That'd be funny if she just <laughs> Think about all these coaches soaked in this stuff. <laughs> They're all wet and sticky, these poor coaches. <laughs> She's got a cabinet just full of Powerade. <laughs> that's, just, that's a nightmare to get to be really hot and then get really sticky at a really, really hot game. Yeah. Do you ever call it gator juice? People call yeah, it. Some people call it ga- Some people call it gator juice. Other people call it Gatorade. My, 
my boyfriend and I call it orange because we keep it like powdered on hand for you know after we've been working in the yard and needing to drink it, but we just call it orange. So I don't know if that's something. Pass me that orange. <laughs> <laughs> that's some Roman the field type um, of talk right that's there. Some field Roman stuff. That's some field talk right there. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Um, do, you we any, I mean, do you have any? Do you have any questions? On this tractor. You got any questions for us? Because we're gonna keep the calls going. We got a lot of calls to get through, and we're almost. So okay. I didn't through. think you guys were gonna call, and I did not come up with any questions. That's okay. I can't talk to you right now. What are you like? What? What? What are you working on specifically, podcast wise? Pod show wise. Well, today Brent and I are just calling random people. And seeing what's up, you know, <laughs> just seeing what's up. That's awesome. We're talking to all different parts. We went, we were in the Northeast. Um, we were in this, now we're in the Southeast. We are in the third we coast. We were in Venice Beach. We're in Venice Beach. We're going worldwide. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Um, I wish I had come up with some other questions because I honestly was a little tipsy and that's why I set my number and I forgot about it, but it's so, I'm a big fan. Is there anything that annoys you? <laughs> about anything not particularly i feel i feel like saying this i'm a newer fan i'm honestly have followed um office office hours more that's cool yeah we're, you know what tune in tomorrow <laughs> brett and i are going to be hosting office hours tomorrow oh, okay i'll tune in i'm sorry i'm sorry i did that you know kind of a funny fan no worries just ha- <laughs> we're happy to talk to you okay have a great have a great rest of your day. Thanks, you too. We'll see you Have out fun. on the field. We'll see you on the field. <laughs> Thanks. So okay. we're, I'm out. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, her connection was a little choppy. It was a little choppy in the princess. I want to call Satan here. So Satan, not to be confused with young Satan. I think this must be a different Satan. Now I can't find Satan. Where the heck? There he is. Or she, you know. Um, what should we ask Satan? Well, you know, ask him, you know, who's down there? Who's down there? <laughs> Let's do that. Talk. Who's down there? Hello? Who's down there? <laughs> Hello? Who's down yeah, who's there, down Satan? There? Who is this? This is DJ Doug Pound and Brent Weinbach from the Poundcast, duh Oh, what? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Dude, is this Satan? This is Satan. Now, who's down now there? Now, who's down there? Um, uh, everybody. I mean, we're, we're just waiting on all you guys to come on down here, too. So I got a nice spot reserved. Nice and hot? <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody's, everybody's down here. Heaven isn't real. You guys are on your way here. Oh, okay. Yeah. How are you guys? How's the podcast? I'm having fun. It's been flying by. Yeah. I got to do this more. This is a lot of fun. So where are you is uh it? where are you located? I'm uh, in Atlanta traffic. Oh, no which sounds time. like which sounds like hell. Oh, you got that. Yeah. <laughs> That's pure is, hell right is... there. Traffic. Yeah. Yeah, this is hell. Where are you traveling from? From work. Where was that? Uh, uh, right let me in... let me guess. Uh Walmart. Adult Swim. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> Satan, so he's like, oh, 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 right, right, right. Well, uh, no, that's oh, too happy. Oh, okay, no, it was then Turner, just Turner Broadcasting. No, I'm just kidding. Close. I'm DMV. Right by there. The DMV? No, no, De- I'm I'm in sales, so that's also hell. No, well, you know what? No, you're in sale. <laughs> you're Do in what? Sale. I'm in sale. Are you trying to say like hail? Yeah, instead of hail, yeah, uh, instead of hail, sail, sail, I'm gonna sell. I, I went in to uh, you know throw that up on the stand up, but that was good. So what? Uh, yeah, what do you sell? What are you selling? What are you trying to sell? Um, and, and what are you trying to sell? And try to sell it to us and see if we want we're taken. I do. I do marketing sales. So I find businesses where their marketing sucks, and uh, I pretty much just show them cool new stuff they can do. Oh, through through like Facebook. Oh, oh, you're in tech. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. I sell software. Oh, you sell yeah. erect wear. <laughs> That's what. Erect wear. <laughs> erect wear. Erect wear. Why not? Explain erect wear to me. 
Well, well you got software and then you got erectware. Oh my God, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> dude, send me back to hell. How about this one? Yeah, dude, you're, you're, you're like top of my list now. <laughs> How about this one? You sell software? That stupid fucking joke. How about this one? Dude, you're... they're not, they're all, they're all going to be dumb. Actually, I thought that was a great joke. It was I loved okay. It. I actually. I mean, there's it. worse. I've done worse. To be honest, that was one, hey, probably one of my favorite. Hey, do you have your soundboard with you? I do, but I don't have it plugged in because I got the phone plugged in instead. God damn it! What do you want to hear? I could put it through the mic, uh, or we can just any do DJ oh. Doug Pound like the We Three Bings. I, you know, that's a full song that I can't. Yeah, but you can just do the Bing Bong Bing Bong Bing Bing Bong Bing. Uh, you know, I can't take requests right now. I'm not set up for that, but we we'll do it live. Bang, 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 bing, bang. There we go. Yes, that was awesome. Just I wish this was like acapella. early 2000s where I could have you uh, record a voicemail for me. Why can't we do it now? Phones because still have it's voicemails. Not it's not professional anymore. I, I got to have a work phone. A what? This is, yeah, this is also my, my phone I use for work. Let's do it professional. How are we going to do that? All right, let, let me, let's hear your audition for my professional voicemail. Hi, you've reached the office of Satan. He is hmm. busy burning people's for eternity, so he'll never be able to call you back. <laughs> okay, I guess. So, you've reached the office of Satan. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. Thank you. <laughs> like that. I love it. <laughs> you've reached you've reached the offices of Satan. Please leave your name and number after the scream. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's gotta be like a, a, a random fart. You've reached the offices of Satan. Please leave a message after the beep. Uh, <laughs> it's a fart noise. That was a fart noise. That was, that was a, a Tom Boney fart. Oh my god, you've reached the office of Satan. He's got a fart. You can't leave a voicemail. <laughs> yeah, Is that I like good? That. You, you've reached. You've reached Satan. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This summer. How about this? You've reached 666. Please leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah. So let's, let's why, go why with you, the podcast Wait, why, why are you called Satan? Are you some kind of evil freak on the internet or what? <laughs> no, it was. It actually was like a, a joke when I started my Instagram. And then um, I, I, nobody, everyone's just like, oh my God, it's so funny being friends with Satan. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. So you kept it. Yeah, I kept it. And I was like, I guess nobody else is doing this. I'm, got any tattoos? Got any tattoos? I am covered, I'm covered in tattoos. Oh, for real? But but you wouldn't know because I wear a suit. Oh, so you don't have any up up on the neck or in the face? No, I'm I'm, I'm like Batman, Bruce Wayne lifestyle. So, so like at night, you, a, at night you're at the goth clubs just being freaky with like leather straps. Yeah, I got to get the big titty goth bitches. Whoa. I got to be out there doing that. But, you know. That's where the tattoos come in handy, but I got to make money. So I got to wear, you know, hide the tattoos. What's your freakiest tat? Um, I have a burning cross tattooed on me. Where? Whoa. That <laughs> on is... my ribs. Are you, are you talking like a KKK burning cross? No, no. It's like a upside down. No, it's a six 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 inverted cross. Well, what I do you, have six 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 tattooed on me. So if you, you oh, what, oh. if you're doing sixty nine, it's it's right side up. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I time? guess it's all perspective. God, I'm getting freaky with Satan. <laughs> what was the last time you went sixty nine, dude? <laughs> uh, well, I got a girlfriend now. <laughs> that, what? Okay, that's, that's, okay. The, so, the question yeah, still stands. Yeah, the question stands. Why? Yeah, I don't know. You don't Come do that on. stuff with a girlfriend? No, we do. We do. I just you do that you at know, the clubs with a freak. I'm just wondering if like <laughs> this is gonna end up on your guys's Instagram and she's gonna see it. No, okay. it's only she'll, 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 Satan. She'll that's notice. too personal. We understand. Yeah, hey, I, I respect I, your privacy. Right, but I do have this question for Satan. Um, well, when your girlfriend mean, or anybody sees you, is it a kind of a secret surprise to people when they 
see you without your suit on, you know? So you take off your, say, shirt, and then you've all of these tattoos that have been hidden the whole time. Does that take people by surprise, or do you give them a heads up beforehand? Do you say, um, just so you know, I... Was it Schwing? Or do you just go... So, sh- yeah. yeah, so, so my friend style. group is like the, you know, tattoo bar crowd. So, I mean, they kind of just expect all, everybody to have tattoos in that friend group because, we you know, a lot of them have visible tattoos so it's like when i take off my shirt they're like oh like of course that makes sense but like if it's a work person they're just like oh dude you're tatty blasted i'm like this is why we don't hang out outside of work tatty blasted yeah some terrible stupid term that people who don't have tattoos say tatty blasted tatty blasted (laughs) (laughs) it's like when people will get their first tattoo and they're like oh i'm gonna get a sleeve of koi fish and you know, oh, an Imagine Dragons tattoo. It's like, okay, I'm not going to be your friend outside of work. Well, maybe some gals like big tattied men. Yeah. Tatty bears. And that's how they... Tatty bears. That's how they... Tatty, tatty bear. Bears. Big tatty bear. Tatty bears. Now, tatty once you got bear. the tats, did you start getting all kinds of dates? Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Are you serious? I swear. That, that could be your new look. I got no tats. I got no dates. Yeah, get get a f- couple face tattoos and you're face. good. <laughs> what should Just I go get? Just go straight for the face. What should um, I get? One, maybe one of Brent. <laughs> Photo realistic. You can get one of Brent. You can get <laughs> Just like get my face tattooed on your face. Yeah. You start going. Go around with like something face. edgy. Like just get a big middle finger right in the middle of your face. It's like, <laughs> damn, that guy's badass. Uh, okay. A um, couple teardrops, of course. What if I got a, a ring finger with a with a wedding ring on it on my forehead? <laughs> Tattooed on the side. <laughs> that's gonna do the opposite effect. It'll look like this, you know, you know what, but it'll be if, like a ring finger. What if that's how you flick ring on it? Women off that you want, you're interested in romantically. You, instead of, <laughs> you know, you stick up your rig for you. You're like, you, hey, 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey. Like if someone, if a woman cuts you off that you're interested in, you go, hey. <laughs> and then you just point. I'm at single. Your face. I'm single. Look. Or is it? I this mean, one? Hey, I'm just just single. Yeah, i do you have a ring finger? What you're? Oh, so you have a girlfriend? You're not married. I'm not married. No. Do you have a ring finger? You gonna tie the knot? I don't know. She's pretty cool. I like her. Are you gonna? If you ever got married, would you tattoo the ring on? Because people do that. Or would you just get a? Full I ring? see that. No, I'd get a real ring. Mm. Yeah, I got some kind of kind of bougie, like Cartier ring or something. Yeah, okay. I'm broke though. I can't afford that right now. Well, just. Maybe we can help your sales. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I don't. Maybe no, at work, not. show a little tat at work, and people will be like, "Whoa." Well, he's on the probably on the phone a lot, right? Yeah, it, it all starts on the phone, and then it goes through in person. Oh, you actually get in person with the, these people? Okay. Hell yeah. Oh. I get I get to show off my charm, and that's why I wear suits. Oh. It's smile and wink at people. All right. Well, kiss. thanks for taking our calls, Satan. Um, yes, sir. We gotta keep. We gotta keep the show moving. Of course, it's been a blast. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go to. Go. I'll uh, see you in hell. <laughs> yeah, that caller. That call. That was ten minutes. These. It's been an hour. Okay, let's wrap it up. Man. Or one. We can do one, one more one. for the f- free for the free folks. One more. One more. Sloan, Ryan, Anthony. Or Mr. S. Summers Kill. Sloan. Sloan. Isn't Sloan the name of the girl in Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yeah, that's... Mia, um, played by Mia Sarah. That's the... Yeah, that's Ferris's girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Seven. Oop. I won't say the number. Don't want to dox anyone. Uh, I got I got an opening line for this one. <laughs> Instead of, um, who's down there? <laughs> like where's down Fer- there. Where's Ferris? Where's Ferris? Isn't it free Ferris? It is, but it's save Ferris. It's, it's save Ferris. Hey, where's save Ferris? Save Ferris. Where's Ferris? Hello? Hello, Hi. Sloan? <laughs> um, no, this is, this is Luke. Oh my gosh, I called the wrong number. I'm so sorry, Luke. Uh, no wonder you didn't know the answer to those no questions. No wonder you didn't know the answer to that. <laughs> no problem. Well, you sound like a fun guy, though. We're just joking around. You having a good day? 
<laughs> you know what? It might that was the wrong. That sounded like a one of the pound pimples. He like his he was like kind of fun. Well, I think he actually was. That was a completely wrong number, right? Yeah, I I hit a wrong digit. Oh, that's funny. We should. That would have been funny if we talked to that guy. Oh wait, can we call him back? No. You don't want to bother him. I feel either. like we bother. I don't do that. That's Brendan Walsh bothers people. No, but I don't want to bother him. I want to just have a f- friendly conversation. Hello. Hey, where's Fer- where's Ferris? Where's Ferris? What? Sloan? Who's this? This is DJ Doug Pound and Brent from the Poundcast. This is Rooney. Oh, what's up? Dude, what are you up to? I'm eating some spicy uh, queso right now. And um, I'm like waiting for a friend of mine, and I think the whole restaurant thinks I'm getting stood up. Oh well, no, no. You could talk. T- you could, you could talk on the phone, like, um, like we're your friend and we're running late. And oh, okay, you could right, smile cool, and be cool, like, cool, just cool. say, say this really loud. Oh, okay, you're running late. No oh, problem. Okay, you're parking. Wait, you're parking now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So now you awesome. look. Now everyone in the audience, everyone audience, everyone in the <laughs> in the restaurant. Well, they're all staring. That's at you. funny if it's an audience. Anyone that's not, <laughs> they're all- in a group. Just consider them an audience. So there's. I mean, that's what I do. Where are you at? I getting, considered... Where, where's where's this, what? I, so, you're at a restaurant, and they're like, can I start you off with some chips? That's at, well, I'm at a Mexican restaurant, so I got some chips and queso. Is it Taco Bell? Hey, you know what I still laugh about nowadays? Yeah. I saw um, you opened uh, for um, Tim and Eric in Denver, which is where I live, and um, I can't listen to Two Princes by... Uh, the, what's the what's the fucking band called? The Spin, the Spin Doctors. Doctors. I can't listen to that song anymore without thinking of nephew, a nephew, a nephew. It's you ruined the song for me. And you used to play it on a daily basis and love it. Now I ruined it. I'm sorry about that. It's all good. Am I on the air right now? Well, what's we're recording. On? We're recording this. This is you'll be on the show next week. We we're hoping to close off the show with this call, but I don't know if it's a banger. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want what do you need me to do dude dude <laughs> dude it's not on you bro <laughs> is it on you <laughs> no it's just up to the spirits of the world it's to up see to, if, it's up if, to the queso it's to see up how to the quesos of the world to see how that queso can affect you later on yeah. in life you know? what are you gonna order all right um I don't think I'm going to order anything, man. Why you? Yeah, this 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 phone call does suck, dude. Sorry, dude. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, no, suck. no, no, no. It's no, fun. No, no. I'm having fun. We're talking so to did, Sloan in Denver. Sloan, did you not know when we said "safe" or "where"? Where's Ferris? Did that joke make sense to you, or that question? I mean, um, uh, Ferris Bueller. Yeah, yeah. You know that his girlfriend's name is Sloan in that movie. That's right. literally it's Sloan Peterson. If you look at the picture of, of on my Twitter, that's who it is. It's Sloan Peterson. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should yeah. change my, the first letter of, of your name to A. Um, a, a Sloan? No. Change from an S to an A. Alone? Oh. <laughs> alone. <laughs> I'm not alone, dude. I got my audience. Dude, did remember? your buddy show up? No, not yet. Are people looking at you like, what the hell? <laughs> no, you guys are saving me. You yeah, are, uh, I, I was committing social suicide until you guys. Did called. you? Do you have like a, a do you, Are you sitting at a table for two and there's like two drinks out? Like, and there well. is. There's a literally. I ordered my friend a margarita and it's sitting across from me right now as I sit here and eat all the chips and queso by myself, looking like a fucking. Now, lady. what kind of friend is this? Oh, hey, she got here. She's here. Oh, she's here. Hello. Friend. Uh, hello. Friend. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, hey, Sloan's fr- friend? Hey, friend. Yeah, she is, but I got to go now, but it was Dude. good to talk to you. Sorry. Dude, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Good luck with your friend. <laughs> All right, later. Yeah, right, friend. Yeah, right, friend. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's funny is um, he really, yeah, I actually think that was a first date or something like that, maybe. You know, because, people say, because you know what? People say friend. What are they going to say? My, you no, know, that's why. Yeah, I, I don't friend. think, okay, one, if it was actually somebody he knew better, it, he would have been able to say, oh, I'm actually talking on the, the, you know, I'm talking on the phone with this podcast that I like or whatever or something like that. And because it seemed like it was somebody he didn't know very well, so he couldn't explain the situation and felt he had to get off the phone and, you know, give full attention to this person, you know? And it was a girl, and well, I mean, assuming that he was 
a straight man. You know, I it seemed like that was a first date, maybe. Because also, yeah, referring to I'm waiting for a friend, and he's meeting someone there. I don't know. It all seems a bit something, you know. And they had, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, something to think. So um, something to think. Let's wrap. Check it up. this out. Phoebe was like, "You got to call me back." I, I had my phone off or something. Okay, we'll call her. So you know next. what? If you want to listen to that call and other calls, just simply sign up for our Patreon, patreon.com slash poundcast, because that's how you're going to get the unzipped. We're going to get unzipped right now. We're going to keep this party line going. Um, and that's about it. We'd like to thank our Poundcast pound crew. <laughs> you know, people behind the boards. We're talking about Jack Birch. Uh, awesome Jack. Jackson, what is it? Sweet Jackson. Sweet Jackson dot com on Instagram. And Daniel Avila. Avila. He helps us out with our TikTok. And he cuts so many clips together for the TikTok. And? And of course, Aaron Bruntgart, the real OG behind the <laughs> board, my G. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep the calls rolling. If not, See you next week. Hey, oh, you know what? I'll just uh, say this. Uh, like I said, I said this last week, but if you, uh, this comes out on Friday, so if you are in the, oh, never mind. Oh, just come tonight. It's our podcast live, Nevada oh, City. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll mention Nevada the Nevada City. Show. See you there. That's right. it. That's all I want to say. There. Bye. Bye. Goose goose duck. What's goose goose duck? Goose goose duck. It's like duck duck goose, but it's goose goose duck. Goose goose duck. What's goose goose duck? Goose Goose Duck. It's like Duck Duck Goose, but it's Goose Goose now, Duck. Now look, check one, two. This is four, five, six. Okay. Sexual. Mm. That's incredible. Electricity. Yeah. Someone ever break your heart? Yeah. Really? Like a Goose Goose Duck. Because Goose Goose Duck. Rectal. Knock on wood, but you don't need love. Yeah, like a bad news bear and a Goose Goose Duck. Goose Goose Duck. What's Goose Goose Duck? It's like Duck Duck Goose, but it's Goose Goose Duck. Yeah. Goose Goose Duck. That's how the beat goes in it. What's Goose Goose Duck? That's the hook. Goose Goose Duck. It's like Duck Duck Goose, but it's Goose Goose Duck. They can speak Cantonese? This is one, two, three. It's not possible.